simple to get the Rubik's Cube to do what you want it to do. Kudos. I cannot do that. I know there's an algorithm and there's a certain way that you spin it, but I just can't be bothered. I, I'm just like there for days, like trying to do it. I'm like, why isn't it working? And then like to get it into place and then to put it all on this grand scheme of things, how do you see that? Creative people are insane to me. Like I am the least creative person you've probably ever meet in your entire life. But when I lack in creativity, I feel like I make up in like a few small little areas. But this is amazing. I would do this every day, all day. I would make a whole channel just surrounding me and my Rubik's Cube art. Like that is a skill. I would bring Rubik's Cube and like some satchels to a party and be like, you wanna see a party trick? I'd be like, back up, move out, give me some room. And then I just like do it on the dance floor and be like, there's no dancing here. It's Rubik's Cube time. Um, was that the finished result? I don't want to be an art critique, but that was just a sharp object. Was that cool? <laughs> I feel like I'm a little disappointed. It should have been like this, like woodland themed with like trees and animals and like Snow White in the middle singing to me. I'm just a little under impressed with that one. That's not a brush. That's a brush your scalp is in for a rude awakening. Is it like a garden tool? I'm not sure, I don't garden. Please enlighten me. I have no idea what that was for, but like good for you for making killer tools in your home with minimal equipment and materials. <laughs> what is this list? <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? My name is Britt. Welcome back to Kick Back and React. If you guys are liking these videos, please give us a big thumbs up. It really helps us out. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new video from us. Enough of all that. Today we're looking at the creative people on another level you won't believe. Let's go. Okay. Ooh. What? Whoa, buddy, like I'm always in tears actually. At first I was like, his artwork is looking a little bit like mine, you know, like some squiggly lines. And then you're like, ah, I hate it. And then you like pour some paint on it and you're like, whatever, it's abstract, I'm good. And then it turned out to be Marilyn Monroe. What? How? Teach me your secret ways. What is this devil work? Okay, look at this little ingenious product. Okay, so this guy made a bike, but it's a treadmill. So instead of like using it in a circular motion, bending your knees, you're walking. This is a bike that I can get on board with because I hate leaning forward, your knees are bent, you like, just need to crack. Sometimes you wanna walk. This would be cool if you could do like both. You could just like fold up the treadmill, then it becomes a seat and you're like, I wanna sit for a bit. I know I wanna walk. And you're just like walking on your bike. That's insane. This should be patented. You should like go with Dragon's Den, Shark Tank, get this idea out there because you know what? I might buy this. What am I saying? I don't, I don't go for bike rides, but maybe I go for walk rides. Ooh. Oh, it's like shadow art. Okay, that is actually really impressive. The way, the, the amount of people involved in this project, just to get like an image of a girl standing there with her dog and like some wind. This is like, um, have you guys seen America's Got Talent? There's like shadow dances and things like that. And this looks really nice. This is something that you should make routines of and just post everywhere. Cause I love watching this shit. Like, I don't know why, like real people dancing, whatever. Shadow people dancing, I'm like, sign me up. That's so cool. Okay, and people, if I was in this routine, I'd be that one person that 
it up every take. My hands are not that coordinated. I'd be like, what are we doing? What's the step? I missed it. How do I, what now? That's so cool. The way that they just like move in such fluidity and it just looks like this captivated me. I was into it. I was like, whoa, what's gonna happen next? Love it. That's pretty sick. Honestly, in my mind, I was like, well, why wouldn't she paint it black first and then do like where she wants the colors to be? That would be such a long process. I'd be such a hard, see, I'm such an over analyzer. Like I just overthink things so much and I make them way more difficult than they really needed to be. She just like strip, 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 strip. And then I was like, she's ruining it. Like she's painting over black. But I see you, I see where this is going. This looks really cool. Painting though is literally the worst. Okay, when you're young, it's really fun to paint. You're like, yes, I love painting. I love getting dirty, I love having paint splattered on me. And then when you're an adult, you're like painting. painting is so difficult. I don't know why anyone would want to do it. The work that goes into painting? No, 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 not for me. I'm sorry, I was unaware that I bought tickets to your magic show. Holy sh**, move over, get yourself a magic show in MGM Grand. What is this artistry? Honestly, like, I'm just baffled. I know people are really good at transitions on TikTok, but this is like too good. How long did you spend on this? Are you like getting your PhD in transitions? I don't get, I don't know. Like, what? how do you even come up with this sh this is insane to me. Like a transition for me, it's like when like an insane transition is when people are like wearing one outfit and they're like, Poof, and they're in another outfit. I'm like, wow, well done. No, this is well done. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, he's gonna show us how it's done. Simple enough, right? Okay, yeah. Detailing, got you. Okay, respect, a little paint. Nice. Add some glitter, some accessories, a little light inside. Oh my god. This should have its own shelf at Hallmark. This is insane. It was like, you could make this. And then, yeah, like the steps seemed kind of easy, but then it was like, do like the detailing of the wood, the ghost, like, the, no. Well, I'm not that talented. No, sir, back up a few steps. Oh, a stain, no, no, no. Go rinse it. Oh, she's gonna make art out of it, okay. Shading, never hurt nobody. I'm so excited to see the result. <laughs> I love how it was like a mustard stain to begin with, and then just like, oh man, like you ruined my shirt. And they're like, back up, hold a minute, like get the relish, get the ketchup, we're fixing this. Never mind, like get some water and vinegar and like rub that out. No, 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 you're my blank canvas now. I'm gonna make this into an art piece. We're gonna throw you in the Museum of Modern Art. Here we go, Dudley the Dragon it is. 3D printer, so cool. Whoa. Ooh, 
Ooh, have you guys seen? Okay, like, I could be like so far off base right now. But have you guys seen Small Soldiers? It looks like one of the Guardianites, or or it's like a character from WoW or something. Not 100% sure. Cool nonetheless. But what's the deal with 3D printers? Do you draw something and then you put that into what you want it to print? Like you put like this, you know, sketch of what you want, or like can you buy sketches and I don't know. I don't own a 3D printer. If I did, I would get a lot of three-dimensional stick figures, and that's all that I would be good for because I can't draw anything beyond that really. I can't even trace properly. That's how bad of an artist I am. Okay. Very nice. Ooh, 3D. That, that's kind of scary, no? Oh. I kind of with my brain for a minute. Again, the only three dimensional thing that I can draw is a cube. And then even so, it is lopsided and uneven and it kind of doesn't really look three dimensional in the end. I just wish I could just grab a piece of paper, sketch whatever the hell I wanted and it, I'm like, oh cool, that looks great. Let me just show this to the internet. And I can't do that. Aww, the sun helping. Oh my gosh. So realistic. Whoa. Oh my god. I love it so much. He made it look so realistic. I'm just flabbergasted because that is amazing. My whole house would be just murals of shit like that. There would be no blank wall. Like, you want to hang a picture? No, no, no. I'm going to paint the picture for you. Don't worry. We don't need to go to home sense. I am home sense, okay? All right. So there you guys have it. That was the creative people on the internet. You won't believe. And quite literally, I did not believe most of them. I think, though, if you guys are from Canada, you might have heard about a show called Art Attack. The show was amazing. And I loved watching him as a kid because he would make these, like, big art projects and, like, help the cop would have to go up to see the end result. It was amazing. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.